Hello guys, welcome back to the Star Card Tarot. I hope everybody is having a blessed and wonderful Friday. We're going to go ahead and get into your collective reading. Let's just see what's going on, okay? Alright Spirit, what do you have for my collective? What do you want them to know? What information would you like to provide for the collective? What's going on in and around the collective? Who's coming towards the collective? Some type of celebration, but who's coming towards the collective? Could be a queen of swords here, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. I'm sorry if y'all hear the banging. Um, they're fixing something in the office building, and it's been nerve-breaking for the last past two days. If you're here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Please thumbs up the video. If you have not subscribed, please do that. Share, share, share the video so that we're able to get the channel out there. Yeah, could be an earth sign. All right, let's be collective. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on with the collective spirit? What's going on with the collective? Could be a Virgo. All right, let's do it. Who's coming towards the collective? You got the Ace of Swords in the reverse. Somebody, whoever's coming towards you, the issue ain't coming telling the truth. This person has got some dishonesty issues going on with them. Um, we're going to see what that's all about, though. Let's get into it. What do they want with the collective spirit? What do they want? They definitely want to give you something. Okay, this could be a Leo. There could be a Leo coming back in. Um, this could be somebody that you already know. There's another card. This is definitely a Leo that wants things to change in their favor as well, okay? There's some type of relationship or reconciliation that this person might be waiting out for. Um, this person is coming towards you with something. Um, this person feels that either you aren't telling them the truth, but I asked so on this card, I asked who was coming towards you, but this person could be carrying lies at the same time as well. Or the Leo may feel that you collective are not being honest with them. Um, you also have down here Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, this is somebody with the, the Knight of Pentacles, but this person is coming in slowly. Um, this person might be judging things that's happening in and around you guys to decide whether or not this is something that they want to happen. But it appears that this person um, is being divinely guided because you have the wheel here. It's almost like things are turning in this person's favor and making them come towards you. Okay, what type of connection is this person wishing for with the collective? What type of connection is this person wishing for with the collective? This person has some type of hopes and dreams about something moving forward with you. Okay, wanting to connect. Um, you guys may live at a distance or you may haven't spoken in a while. And this person is um, sort of wanting to reach out to you. What's, what's this three of wands? What's this three of wands about? Yeah, this person wants to definitely offer something. There's some higher commitment that this person wants to offer. This person probably is going to be coming back to you. Um, this could even be some type of proposal. Some type of relationship they want to establish. They want something strong. This person wants something that they're able to... Um, I'm, I'm going to say manifest with you to be something I'm hearing spectacular. Okay. This person is definitely coming in wanting some type of connection, but there's something here. I want to clarify this ace of swords in the reverse. There's something here that this person hasn't been saying or that has this person tongue tied. What is this ace of swords about? What's this ace of swords about for the collective? What's this ace of swords? victory this person wants some type of whatever this conversation is this person has been holding on to it there's something that this person hasn't spoken that they want to say to you but it's going to be something that's going to give them victory i think that this person may be somebody collective that hasn't been honest about what they want from you you might have been sharing time with this person at one time, or maybe you and this person were in each other's lives, but this person wasn't expressing what they actually wanted from you. This could have been something that made you 
realized that you need to walk away from a situation. I feel like you were in a space where you felt as if you you were trying to go the long haul with this person, but this person wasn't ready when you were. So now this person is hoping that things with this wheel of fortune here, this person is hoping that things will come back in their favor. This person is waiting collective. This has been somebody that's been waiting on you for a while. Somebody that wants a deeper connection. Somebody that couldn't or was scared to sacrifice. They were scared to tell you what they wanted from you collective. That's what I'm picking up. This is somebody that was afraid to come out and say what they wanted. What type of connection they really desired from someone. What's, let's see, what's the obstacle? What's the obstacle, Spirit? A king of wands, there could be an interference. There could be somebody that you're already connected to or somebody that you're either dealing with that has been an interference for this person. That's why this person hasn't come forward. Um, this could be somebody that you have a sexual relationship with. So this could be a, a connection that you've been in for a minute. What, what else with this king of wands? What, what's, what's, what else with this king of wands? Being the obstacle. What else? Yeah, hold them back. I'm telling you. This person sees you as the Empress Collective, okay? This person sees you as somebody that's um, abundant for. But this person definitely feels like when they try to express themselves or when they come back, that you're not going to give them what they want, okay? They know that you are this nurturer. They know that you are this kind-hearted individual. They know that you have everything that you need. But this person has been holding back from you. This person doesn't want to release this information because there's fear here. I think this person is afraid of what their the consequences behind things. This could be somebody that knows you and your person, but this person may be somebody that wants to come forward and wants to start something with you or wants something real with you. This person recognizes who you are, collective. This person recognizes who you are. I'm telling you, this person wants some type of relationship. Okay, this person is trying to come back, okay, but this person knows that collective, there's going to be some type of ruining, there's going to be some type of ruining and to something, okay, in a home environment, a relationship that's already existing, or maybe there's going to be a ruining to something if they come towards you, and I think that's why this person has stalled for a second, but this person is definitely hoping that things change in their favor. What's the outcome? Spirit, what's the outcome? What's going to be the outcome for the collective and this person? What's going to be the outcome? Show me the outcome, Spirit. What's going to be the outcome? The high priest says somebody going to be in their feelings. They're going to be um, dealing. Somebody is going to be leaning on their intuition. What's the, what else with intuition? Somebody's going to be leaning on their intuition for answers. I'm telling you because they want to go towards this Ten of Cups. Somebody's going to be leaning on their intuition for answers because they know that with you collective, there's a Ten of Cups here. There's a Ten of Cups moment that this person is yearning for. Okay? There's a desire to be with you more. There's a desire to open up to this relationship. Somebody has to walk away from something for it to be done collective. Somebody's probably stuck in a situation. I'm telling you, somebody's stuck in a situation that is diresome to them. Okay. They might want to release themselves. It could be that this person is stuck in a connection when they really want to be with you collective. You could be dealing with somebody that's probably already in a relationship. Somebody that has fear that if they walk away from this other person, they're leaving them feeling as if they're going to be down and out, which they probably will, because this is somebody leaving something behind, okay? This person is leaving this other person behind to find something that's balanced. This person wants to move to something or a relationship that's going to balance them out at the end of the day. Whatever that new relationship is, it's something that they've been wishing for, okay? This is something that's being divinely guided to them. Maybe this is somebody that, you know, you and this person might have went through things collective and you guys have both struggled 
you've came out, you both maybe have done the work, and now you're, com you're coming towards each other because you're being divinely guided. It's, it's this, this person is rushing towards you, and this person is definitely paying attention to everything that you're doing. They're paying attention to you. Mm, 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 mm. I'm telling you, this person wants a new beginning. It fell right out. This person wants a passionate new beginning. Something that is going to be desirable. Something that's going to be uplifting. But not only that, this person is looking for something that's going to grow. Something where they can grow together. This person is wanting a relationship that's going to be focused, that's going to be strong is what I'm hearing. This person is wishing, um, you know, this person could be with this other person. But when it gets sexual, this person is really thinking about you a lot, collective, is what I'm picking up here. This person really loves, I'm hearing the atmosphere, the environment with you. Um, this could be somebody that you've hung out with um, before. This is somebody that's really attracted to you. There's a lot of fire here. This person shares a fire and desire for you, collective. And it's because this person is seeing you as the empress. This person sees you as having everything that they need. I'm hearing uh, mother, mother material, father material. Um, you could be somebody that has children as well. And you do what you need to do as far as providing for them. This person might look up to you for that. This other person may have children as well. This other person may just be stuck in something that they've been trying to get out of collective. That's what they've been trying to tell you. This could have been something that they had to lie about to try to keep hold on to a connection or to have some type of... They probably lied to you because... They're still wanting victory with you, but they're still, they're trying to figure out how to get out, how to get this other person out their way. Because this is, this is something that this person is coming in for because they see you as somebody that's balanced and you could balance them out. Y'all could balance each other out. This is somebody that wants to work with you collective. This is somebody that is tired. This is somebody that's tired. They need to walk away from this other situation, but they're afraid of how it's going to leave the person that they're walking away from collective, okay? This person wants to move on to something else. Well, I'm going to just confirm something here. Is this person, uh, Spirit, is this person involved with someone else? Is, is there a third party interference in this? <laughs> the moon. Okay, there's some type of involvement um, pertaining to something or someone, okay? There's definitely something that's still a secret. Um, it's something that you haven't been made aware of, okay? It's something that this person has been trying to keep under wraps from you, Collective. Wow. Clarify this moon. Clarify the moon. Clarify the moon. The moon is clarified by the seven of swords. This person is being sneaky. Okay. The seven of swords and the ace of cups. There's something here, some type of secret um, that's dealing with somebody else. This person is literally trying to leave what's ever here. They're trying to leave the secret. And if you notice how they're looking back, they're looking back to make sure that this person doesn't find out what they're doing. It's like they're keeping an eye on you, collective. They want to come towards this new cup of love. This this is what's going to be fulfilling to them. This is what they're desiring. This person is literally not whatever is being uh, hidden. They do not want you to find out about it, okay? So this other person that they're trying to release themselves from, um... They're hoping that I'm I'm get I'm picking up a sense that they don't want this person causing drama and what you guys got going on or what you're trying to have going on collective is what I'm getting. That's what I'm getting, y'all. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, wow. Anything else, Spirit? Anything else? Third party. It's definitely a third party here that they're trying to remove themselves from. They're trying to move on from, and they're having difficulty doing that is what's going on. Mm -hmm. They're having difficulty with pressing on because they are concerned of what's going to or how this other person this third party is going to feel okay um this person may feel as if they use them child you can't even make this shit up this third party is going to feel as if this person has used them as if they were breadcrumbed okay and that's why your person that wants to come towards you collective so deeply, so badly, they've been in their head about the indecisions, but they know that judgment is going to rain on the situation, okay? Um, this could be something that comes to you or this person could try to possibly reach out to you. Okay, this third party, they could get upset, they could get mad about the situation, about what's going on. Um, this person, they desire you, and I'm telling you, there's a desire here. Oh, my God. You got the queen, king of pentacles, the queen of wands, a desire. Somebody's desiring. You got the star behind that. Definitely wishing on a star for this relationship to move forward. And behind the fucking star, you got the sun. Okay, let me tell you. Behind that, you got the queen of cups. Somebody is working hard to get with the love that they desire, the love that they want. And this person will look like they're going to stop until they get to you collective. So this other person, this fellow, it was at the top of the deck. This other person is trying to fuck with, with this new person that wants to be with you is trying to manifest, okay? It's almost like this is already, I'm hearing, written in the books. You and this person that's burning and yearning for you y'all are supposed to be together there's some type of work that spirit says that you guys are going to be doing there's some type of connection it could be a work connection or it could just be on a personal level but it's more like you and this person are being brought together divinely to work together you have the nine of cups you go from the nine of cups down here to the ten of cups this is a relationship that's going to be family oriented this is and then you over here you've got the higher fund this is marriage this is security this is somebody that sees that you can grow together. They can grow with you. You guys are able to make things happen. And what's happening, the spirit is working in the background and bringing you judgment or your person. This person could have been desiring this for a while and finally collective is coming out to be something that's going to be great, okay? Um, this person is not going to stop chasing you. I believe that this person might already be involved with somebody, but they are definitely trying to release themselves from that person. This person has a bad desire to be with you, and I don't think anybody's going to be able to stop them. I don't think anybody's going to be able to stop them. This is something that somebody that's been brewing and they've been manifesting it for a while, okay? And this person had just been waiting. That's why in the first beginning, Spirit showed us that this person has been waiting, okay? They've been waiting on the right moment, and that, that time has come. That time has come, and that's why they're saying to themselves, mm -hmm. I got to get rid of this other person completely. I got to leave that shit alone. This back and forth ain't going to work no more. I got to release myself from these situations like this. They know that in order to come towards the Empress, they need to be clean. They need to be clean because spirit is not going to allow them. If they don't release themselves from this other person, spirit is not going to allow them to come towards you. Because you are too, you are too bountiful right now. Okay, you are, you are where you need to be. You are where you need to be for all of this. So spirit ain't going to allow you to have nothing less. All right, Collective, thank you so much for stopping by. Do me a favor, share, share, share the video. Subscribe to the channel if you have not. Turn on your post notification bells, and I will see you very soon. Thanks for watching.